Okay, guys, now it's your turn. I hope you were inspired by what you saw in the landfill orchestra. And I want you to think about everything we've learned about sound and how sound is produced. And I want you to think about the landfill orchestra and how those boys and girls, kids, adults, made their instruments out of trash. So here's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to look around for recyclable objects in your home that you could use to build an instrument. So think about what kinds of things that might be. It might be an old cereal box or the tube from um, oatmeal or the, uh, what do you call this? Oats. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Um, it might be rubber bands. You might use some rice or some beans. You might use one of those disposable pie tins. You never know. An Amazon box. We have lots of those at our house. I want you to find some recyclable objects and I want you to experiment and see what kinds of different sounds do different objects make when they are shaken, tapped, strummed, or plucked. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to get out a blank piece of paper and make a sketch of how you would like to build your instrument using the recycled materials. You're going to build your very own recycled instrument. It is not going to be a fancy pants instrument like we saw from the landfill orchestra. You're just going to make a simple instrument out of recycled materials, but you're not going to make it today. Today you're going to plan. I want you to sketch and use labels to label each part of your sketch. And here I said this does not have to be fancy. It's not it have to be a very fancy instrument. A simple instrument will do. Keep track of your plan and however you've sketched it out because tomorrow you're going to build your instrument and play it on Seesaw. Now, keep in mind when you're making your sketch, you're probably wanting to keep a list of materials that you're using on your sketch. So if you're going to use rubber bands or string or beans or rice or boxes or tape, you're going to need to include a list of what your materials are going to be. I am sure that your teachers are going to be so excited to log into Seesaw tomorrow after you've built your instrument to listen to you play. All right, have fun planning and I'll talk to you tomorrow.